start by telling us how prepared is the MVA when it comes to the safety of road users and the reduction of road crashes and casualties? Thank you, thank you very much. Um, uh, first and foremost, I want to highlight that um, the first season uh, road safety campaign uh, is not uh, a project of, of the MVA fund only. Uh, it uh, includes all the players in the road safety um, and is spearheaded by the National Road Safety Council who are the lead agencies when it comes to, to, to road safety in Namibia. At the moment, we are quite busy um, in preparation for, for the campaign. Uh, the campaign will be launched shortly, I think, um, it's, it's planned for 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 for, the, for for launch on the 15th of this month. We are putting everything together, um, and the National Road Safety Council will obviously make the necessary announcement um, as, as regards to the official launch. But what I can say at the moment is that um, we are together with stakeholders. Um, busy with uh, putting together all the resources that are required for us to undertake the campaign uh, from the side of the NVA fund. We will participate, obviously, in the educational campaign um, and also on the side of emergency response to ensure that all the roads are covered uh, either by our own ambulances or by state ambulances or by private ambulances, uh, those that will be ready to respond in events of crashes. Uh, what, we, what we do normally is we set up some satellite um, emergency bases. We'll come back on that one. Mm -hmm. as we are still uh, consulting with the stakeholders. Uh, as part of uh, preparation for towards the first season campaign, there will be a campaign uh, um, in Erongo, Rongo, Moon and Walsh Bay, uh, a campaign targeting uh, trackers or truck drivers, uh, looking at uh, fitness, but also looking at issues of fatigue uh, and the wellness of, of truck drivers, but also educating them on how to be safe on the road uh, that campaign is on the 7th of this month. I think that, that will be this week, mm -hmm. uh, going up to up to 8. Uh, there are also other events happening. Uh, but all in all, that is uh, what we are doing to prepare uh, for the first season campaign. And we are, at this point, really just um, inviting all our stakeholders inviting public and private sector uh, to please, uh, assist in, in providing resources to the campaign. We will knock a few doors. We will send out some requests for those that traditionally have assisted us before. That's also looking at some new sponsors. So uh, that is really basically what, what we are busy with at the moment. Right. Ruben, if you can perhaps maybe just share with us, uh, if you look at the statistics in terms of the casualties that we have on the road, what perhaps is the most prominent cause? Is it uh, drivers uh, operating vehicles under the influence of alcohol? Is it fatigue? Is it vehicles that are not supposed to be on the road? Uh, just give us maybe just a down, uh, uh, you know, a download on on what the major causes are of some of these accidents, and especially uh, in the festive season. Yeah, it's a, it's a combination of a few. Uh, I think the, the bottom line is that um, um, over 70% of, of crashes are caused by, by human behavior. I think uh, that is a result of the research that we have conducted um, in recent years. And the um, uh, behavior means that we are on the road uh, transgressing uh, road traffic rules, we we are 
feeding. Uh, there are those that are being under the influence of alcohol, and alcohol is prevalent uh, during the festive season, obviously, and alcohol also has an influence on other causes of, 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 of crashes. So uh, it can also be fatigue uh, during the festive season uh, at high level because those that are in the business of, of public passenger transport and, and uh, transporting of goods are trying to maximize, uh, especially on passengers, because this is the time that people are flocking mainly from the cities, uh, going to different destinations for holidays. Uh, it's also the time for school holidays and uh, those that are in passenger transport uh, for business are really trying and they are not resting enough. So it's speeding, it's overloading, it's fatigue, uh, it's failure to use safety belt, but also um, distraction, say, for example, uh, the use of, of mobile phones while driving, uh, reckless and negligent driving, inconsiderate driving. Those are all some of the causes of, 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 of crashes that we observe during the festival. There are, those who argue, there are those who argue that perhaps, you know, there, there must be a law that must be introduced to say if you haven't had your license for more than five years, for example, you shouldn't be driving on, you know, on, 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 on the highway, for example, long distances, uh, suggesting that, you know, sometimes inexperience also uh, causes or rather also contributes to some of the accidents that we see on our roads. Uh, what are your thoughts around that? And is there perhaps maybe a correlation between how long somebody has been having their driver's license and their behavior on the road in terms of perhaps calculating a distance if they want to uh, overtake a vehicle? Yeah, it's a, um, it's a yes and no. <laughs> there is quite a few of, of us who are driving more than 50 years that uh, are still uh, causing crashes. Mm -hmm. But obviously the issue of novice drivers is, is a very important one. Um, of course, there is no uh, legislative uh, limitations as to how many years you should have before you drive on the highway or before you, you carry passengers and so on, or you drive long distance. There is no such a thing. But um, it, 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 it's something that can be considered. Um, I think maybe the colleagues from law enforcement or the colleagues from the um, from those are, that are responsible for legislation and policy at the Ministry of Waste and Transport, then come in uh, in terms of regulating new drivers and so on. And also the whole issue of, of driving school, because um, some of our drivers really just come uh, buy a new car or before buying a new car go to a driving school. Uh, the driving school is also not regulated. It's a normal driver who buys a car to try to make a living and so on. So there is a, a need, and, I'm, I'm sure, and I know there have been efforts to try to bring in some stability in terms of regulating uh, driving school and so on. But novice drivers, obviously, is a factor uh, in terms of uh, people need to have experience to drive. And I think it's provided for in, in, in what is provided for in, in for example, getting a, um, a PA, uh, what we used to, to call, uh, what, what was it before? Um, uh, a, P, a PA, for you to get it, you need to be at a certain age, I think over 25, yeah. uh, which is good, but I think we need to now move into how do you transport passengers and how how many years experience do you need yeah just like you are saying all right ruben uh, th there's also a concern we see that you know many of the 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 the, the deaths in, in these casualties are uh, are mostly also passengers in vehicles now if i happen to be sitting in a vehicle let's say on my way to 
Grootfontein for argument's sake. And the driver is, is, is driving recklessly. And I can't really, uh, I'm in a situation where I don't know what to tell the driver. What do I do in that instance if I want to alert the authorities that, look, I'm in a particular car, the driver is not, you know, adhering to, to the rules and regulations of the road. What can one do there? Yeah, no, the, the, we have the number, the, the, the traffic violation number, uh, which is 061 um, Or you can actually just call our accident response number 9682 because they all uh, ring in the same uh, emergency call center. And once you call that number and you inform what is happening to the driver, then the colleagues in the in the in the call center will notify the nearest uh, the traffic traffic officer. So if you are say for example approaching Otavi, we should be able to inform the, the next uh, traffic office to intervene. And we have examples where a lot of them where traffic has intervened and uh, some correct correct correctional measures were, were implemented, um, especially in terms of uh, uh, um, warning, and, and some people were found to be under the influence of alcohol and they were arrested and so on. So uh, the public is encouraged to, to use the platforms that are available to, to report traffic violations. Can the complaint be lodged, you know, uh, anonymously? Will I be protected as a passenger uh, if I do call the call centre and alert them of the situation that I'm in? Or perhaps if I'm not even in the car, let's say I'm in another car and uh, another vehicle is perhaps, you know, driving very recklessly uh, on the roads. Will I be guaranteed anonymity? Yes, you are protected and the uh, identity will not necessarily be... All right. Uh, Ruben, uh, maybe perhaps just to wrap up the discussion, what is your advice to motorists uh, for, the come, for the upcoming festive season? We know it's just around the corner. What should they be doing now? What should they be paying attention to in preparation for this very, very, very busy period of the year? Yeah, I think before, uh, before I answer your question, I just wanted to highlight uh, what, what the numbers are saying until yesterday. So 1st of January... Until uh, yesterday, the 3rd of November, we have lost 344 people. 344 people, uh, which is 10 uh, less than last year. Uh, last year, same time, we were sending at 355. It's still a lot of uh, people who are killed on our roads, and uh, we really urge um, our road users to be cautious on the road. Injuries are standing at 4,789, uh, which are uh, about uh, 300 more than last year at, at 4,433, while the number of crashes have also increased with about 300 from uh, 2,330 to 2,606. So these are uh, quite uh, alarming numbers. Of course, uh, 3 percent reduction in fatalities, but you have an 8 percent increase in injuries and 12 percent increase in number of crashes. So if you compare the uh, two, uh, two uh, last year and uh, this year at the same time, so it's quite alarming numbers, and and these numbers must really drive home to say we need to change our behavior on the road. Um, coming back to your question, really, at this at this point, we are asking for for cooperation. We are asking for support uh, from everyone, but also we are asking for everyone, uh, every road user, to be a road safety ambassador for all of us to say, look, uh, I need to be safe, but I also need to be considerate of other road users. Uh, we have the issue of, of pedestrians, and we are urging both the drivers and pedestrians to be cautious while walking or crossing the road. Uh, 